Hi guys, so I'm Alex Brunning. I'm part of Autodesk. Um, I'm the product specialist here in EMEA, as Steve just mentioned. And I'm gonna go through a bit of a high level overview of Assemble here for you. You're gonna see that I'm logged into Assemble Systems via Google Chrome because it's a cloud-based um, environment. So this is kind of what you get welcome to when you first sign into Assemble. You know, it's gonna, you're gonna see a list of your projects. This is gonna differ depending on user access, you know, permissions that people have been granted or what uh, projects they can work on. Today, I'm gonna to go through Francis Hall demo project here. So when I first log into my, my actual project, and I open that up, I'm gonna be greeted with the, uh, the actual project homepage. And this is gonna have on the left-hand side, a list of all my different models that I've uploaded or published to Assemble. In the middle are gonna be what we call views. And these views can be imported from project to project, you know, so you've only got to create that view once in the first project. Um, and these are going to be filtered content of what, depending on what you want to see in a job. Maybe you just want to focus on all your structural columns, your, you know, your structural framing. So as you can see here, I have a few different framing views that I, I work from. So I can start importing these from project to project, come in, click on these, and it will literally take me back to where I saved that view. And we'll talk about what, how we can create the view shortly. We also have our new edition of the activity log here, so we can actually now start seeing who's changed what when they made those changes. And it goes back by quite a distance as well in time on that. So today I'm going to jump into the architectural model. And this is what, it, this is what we get greeted to when we first open that, that model file inside Assemble. So a little bit about this interface. So on the left-hand side here, we have our, what we call the inventory inside Assemble. And this is going to be where it hosts the, um, fam, like the breakdown of uh, category, category names, family names, type names, broken all the way down into instance IDs. But this groups it. So if I open up my ceilings, for example, you're going to see I get a total quantity of my area of all my ceilings inside this one architectural model. But we obviously have different types of ceilings that go into those buildings. And then each type of ceiling may appear in multiple different ways or multiple different locations inside that project as well. So now we can start getting down into the, you know, the real um, instance parts of that geometry of where we're getting that area build up from.